All right. The federal judge on R. Kelly's trial request, Kelly's uh, denied Kelly's request to disqualify jurors who watched the surviving R. Kelly documentary. The documentary details R. Kelly's crime from the point of view of his accusers and their families. R. Kelly's legal team feels jurors who watch the documentary will be biased in Kelly's case. What are your thoughts on R. Kelly's request, Al? <laughs> Listen, at this point, R. Kelly's just trying to limit the number of years that's added to his already present conviction. And you can't be mad at that. Um, and I just, uh, I'm not going to say love, but I find it interesting that these criminals are learning the law. This is a very good thing because people like R. Kelly end up teaching the masses the law. And in this case, he has he has a point because according to the law, each attorney has an unlimited number of four case challenges for jurors that have compromised the jury based on their publicity or exposure to publicity around the crime, right? So in this case, he's right. He wants all of those jurors that have had experience or have watched the show to be expelled. Now, this is the problem here though. Of the 80 jury potential prospects, only nine have, have admitted to watching his documentary. So he has, what, 71 other ones that if he expels those nine that he now has to has to work with. Now, this is this is the, the rub for me here. Well, actually, it's the good and the bad. The good, the bad is R. Kelly on this trial is facing child pornography. That means all the people that are coming against him are underage or were underage at the time of the offense. The good part though, Claudia and Q, is that there have been named two other people who worked with R. Kelly to corral, corral, well, what am I saying? Wrangle these underage women and they're held being held accountable. So thumbs up for that. Okay. Q. So I would never tell nobody to go kill themselves. But R. Kelly, at this point, you should just lay down and hope that you don't wake up because you not getting out of jail ever. I don't even know why, you know, they need to create a law that says when we prove it so good on the state side, we just going to let that ride as the federal court case and be done with it. Because we run here wasting taxpayers dollars, number one. Number two, he is going to be found guilty to some degree on just about all the dog counts. Number four, personally, my spirit would just be dead and defeated. I'd just be so tired of fighting this. I'd be like, Lord, just go ahead and assign me to my cell and let me go in the prison rec yard two days a week and play basketball and just accept my fate. Um, I'm tired of hearing about it. I mean, it feels like R. Kelly has been in court for the last five years, has he? 20 years, it feels like. Yeah. That's what it feels like. He got 30 on the state side. The man already 50 something. If he ain't going to die in prison, he going to have one leg in the grave by the time he get out. He may, he might as well leave his trial stuff alone and just start enjoying his new life being the prison choir director. I think this is a non-story. Uh, of course, the, they should expel jurors that have seen the documentary. That's normal in any case. You want people that are biased already and have an opinion on this to not be part of the jury pool. And we want that. Because at the end of the day, if there's a conviction, you don't want there to be any way it could be deemed a mistrial or, you know, mm -hmm. you, you want to be able to have a legitimate trial. So there's nothing wrong with this. Everyone didn't see the documentary. And believe it or not, there's a lot of people here that are not familiar with this case like we are. We're invested. But there's a whole bunch of America that don't really give a damn about this, that don't really know much about this. So this is normal to, to expel jurors that have watched the documentary. So he's doing what he's supposed to do. Al, you're right. That's what a lawyer is supposed to ask for. It's not a big deal. But R. Kelly, I, I agree with Q. I, I think it's time for you to accept your, 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 your fate and maybe use this time in prison to learn how to read. <laughs>